Hi friends, welcome back. Regal Smith here. And today I'm gonna to teach you what I keep inside of my hiking pack for a first aid kit. And this is doterrorized. So I'm gonna share with you the essential oils and natural things that I use in this pack. I've taken this pack uh, camping. I've taken it on day trips, backpacking trips. I've taken it even on 14ers, which is where you hike to the top of a 14,000 foot mile and hike down. So it's important to have the necessities, but to also keep your pack light. So these are my must haves uh, on the trail. So number one, helichrysum. This has been considered liquid stitches. So if there is a cut or an abrasion, you're in the back country, um, one of the best things you can do is to put this right on the abrasion, right on the cut, and um, use that after you clean it out with some water and some other things. So it's called helichrysum also known as liquid stitches. It works really, really well. Also helps for uh, discomfort. So you can rub it topically wherever you have discomfort. Another thing I have, these are the only two that I keep the full bottles because remember weight's important to keep it down on long trips, but they're so important that I keep big versions. I have the Lavender Touch. This is great for bug bites. It's great for sunburns. Uh, I hike a lot with my little one. If she gets a boo-boo, we'll rub a little bit right there, we'll breathe it in because it's really calming too. So if she's upset by something or she fell or she got a bug bite, rub it on, breathe it in and go about our day. So we have the lavender. I also keep in here Correctex. This is an all natural type of Neosporin. It is in a base of um, coconut and it has helichrysum, frankincense, cedarwood, tea tree and lavender. So nice little ointment to put on scrapes, bumps, all that kind of thing. Uh, in here, I also have a few other things that I'll show you. This this is a kit, I think I got it from REI, and honestly, I took out so many of the, the after bite, the pills, the things for uh, upset stomach that really I should have just bought some gauze, uh, an ace bandage, and some really good quality band-aids and moleskin for blisters, but I didn't, I already had that, so. I definitely loaded it up. I also put in here deep blue sample packets. So deep blue is for any type of muscle discomfort. This is really great for hiking. I also put in here, because I took out a lot of the pills that I didn't need, um, this is one I replaced it with. This is the deep blue polyphenol. So this is really good for um, head tension, muscle aches, a long day of hiking, everything is not feeling comfortable. This is a really good thing to take as needed. If you're going on a longer trip, you can load this up and have more, but those are good for a day trip. And then, um, yeah, some duct tape. You always need some duct tape, right? Gloves, moleskin, the basics, uh, safety pins, tweezers, things like that. Um, I've got a little knife. I carry a much bigger pocket knife when I go back country, but there's a little one attached. This comes with us to the park too. And then I have a few more oils that I added in here. I put these in smaller sample vials to cut down on the weight. Uh, and these are the ones I chose. I chose tea tree oil. So tea tree oil I use for wounds. So it's an antiseptic. Um, so if I fall or my little one gets a cut or whatever happens in the back country. So first I rinse it out with water and then a couple drops of tea tree oil, um, maybe lavender for calming if somebody's really upset and then the helichrysum, the liquid stitches, and dress it accordingly with what I have in my first aid kit. The next thing I have in here is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is really great at helping with digestive discomfort. So if your stomach isn't feeling right, you can take a couple drops um, topically on your abdomen, or if it's doTERRA, it is safe for internal use. You can do a little bit on your tongue. It's also really good for cooling. So if you're feeling overheated on the trail, you can put a couple drops on the back of your neck. And then for me, if I'm hiking up really high at high elevation and I'm feeling breathless, especially at those 14,000 foot, you know, mountaintops, put a few drops right in my hand, deep breath in, and it, actually, it will increase the oxygenation in your blood. So a great way to help get oxygen flowing in your body and smells awesome. And the final oil I have in my first aid hiking kit is Terra Shield. Dun, dun, dun. Terra Shield is an insect repellent. It's a natural insect repellent that helps to get rid of the pests in the area. <laughs> it smells amazing to me. It almost, I don't know, almost smells like sugar cookies to me, um, but it comes in a spray bottle. And so if you're going on a short trip, you can take this whole spray bottle. But if I know I'm 
I want to cut down on weight, I just put in the little sample bottle and then I just apply it to my skin as needed. Now, if you don't have one of these yet, this is a really cool thing you can get from your doTERRA wholesale account on your back office. It's not very expensive. I think it's like $5.95, I can't quite remember. But it comes with all the little sample bottles and eight of them. So you could actually load up eight sample bottles of what you think you would need, like lavender, helichrysum, peppermint, uh, deep blue, digest zen, whatever you feel like your family would need and attach this to your backpack, attach it to your purse. Um, this is something that you could have with you every day and this is really a nice feature to have to take along your oils. And then make sure you throw on one of the essential oil sticker packs. I think these are 50 cents from your doTERRA wholesale account and this will let you know what each oil is when you label it and put it in there. So let me know what you have in your hiking pack or your first aid kit. I'd love to hear what oils you are using. If you need some doTERRA oils, I will help you get them 25% off wholesale, get the best possible price using my doTERRA link below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them and I will do my best to answer them. We'll see you all next time. Thank you, bye.